And good morning, everyone. A uh, very beautiful morning to you. Um, not so much for the market. And what? Well, uh, stock market. May presensya na yung pusa ko. <laughs> stock market dropped down to... Kano ba yun? Kahapon, PSEI. 75 na lang yun eh. Let me just open it again. Nakalimutan ko yung value. 7,000. Nansya na sa pusa ko. Naglalambing ngayon eh. I don't know why. So, uh, PSEI dropped to 75 yesterday. So, laki ng ano, laki ng ta, uh, laki ng talo, especially sa mga blue, chi blue chips. Let me just uh, log in again. X. I had to clear my cache kasi. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry about this. Uh, need to log in my Investograms. Alright, so I'm in. Alright, so good morning, good morning ever to everyone. Um, little update sa ano sa sa Itoro. Uh, I opened a position yesterday, so I'm still sorting it out. Um, checking out the company. Ang ganda ng um future ng company nito. Eh. So I test, I did, uh, I bought for 10% of the position, uh, of the money natin. Yan yan yung pusa ko sa likod. Alright, so seven five seven six a PSE. Yan amidst uh, bakit? Um, walang investors kasi um, nagkakatakutan uh, unti-unting nagbebenta ang foreign um, especially sa mga blue chips because of the trade wars Yan. so sadly natin mga gawa dyan, um, but this is good news for those investors so if you are uh, if you have stocks na for investing and it's dropping this is your opportunity to buy more at a cheaper price so that when the bullish market comes it will come right i just don't know when maybe next month may, even maybe a year right so when the bullish market comes you will be in a good position so don't really worry about your positions especially for investing so um yeah let me just um pause this and uh let me go to your comments good morning to my daughter laika let me go to the chat and so um Joel Ligares, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning. Then Jing Martinez, good morning. Coach, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika, ISM po. Thanks. Uy, ISM. Slowly but surely, umakit si ISM. So, congratulations sa mga nakapag-bodega kay ISM sa baba. Let's check it out. Alright. So, chart natin ni si ISM. Today, ang hirap na ngayon eh, kasi unti-unti siya umakit eh. Hirap maghanap ng position ngayon. If you're position trading it, but if you're long-term naman, so I'd recommend you wait for the pullback before you wanna buy or an investor doesn't really care of the current price so just get in and if it goes down just buy more ganun it depends on your strategy but let's check it out Francis Fahilan good morning good Thursday morning Sir Lloyd good morning then uh good Thursday morning um Joy P good morning sir insights per JFC MBT and VLL let me check these out these guys out uh medyo pulahan ang mga ito eh right so um Cherry Joy Kala uh, Kalaranan good morning Sir Lloyd, morning then. Abib Shabebs, good morning. GMA po. GMA. GMA 7 is doing well lately. So, let's check it out. Um, Jovi Tanael, good morning. Morning, Sir Lloyd. PHA and IRC po. Pag-usapin natin yun, stocks lang. <laughs> Wala mo na investments and monies, uh, money talks for today. But if you have any questions, just let me know. So, that's still part of our advocacy. Handle your money well, especially ngayon. And daming newbies andito sa channel natin um nanonood but these newbies went directly to stock market wala pa ibang form of investments again i will i will reiterate guys if you're into the stock market already this should be at the very last part of your investment plan kasi this is high risk high reward na ano na, na investment meaning high risk high reward um malaking chances na matalo rin kayo so you have to have stable investments first before you go to stock market okay so, ayan po. Uh, Shan Lau, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Morning then, Jill Abuero. Morning, Sir Lloyd. Watching from Myanmar. Good morning sa inyo dyan, mga kapatid natin, OFW sa Myanmar. Especially to Jill Albuero. Paolo Drew, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pakisilip. Si ano? Insights po kay? <laughs> green, Sir Lloyd. Alright, tignan natin si Green. Ang hirap ah. I just wanna tell you guys ah. I am, um, nag-standby muna ako with my, with the chartings and everything. <clears throat> Kasi, Mahirap po, uh, stock market trading is not just about 
it's not just about charts kasi, right? Especially in a bearish market right now, um, charts defy um, technical analysis, right? Minsan, uh, kalimitan, nag-fulfill ang breakouts, um, nag-fulfill ang supports pag bearish yung market. Walang pakialam sa technical analysis halos pag bearish yung market. So, it's really not just about technicals, right? Hi, Coach. PIP, please, from Bongkoy Lim. Um, Hernan Lim, to, si Bongkoy, di ba? So, PIP, please. Oh, ang ganda ng bounce si PIP kahapon. Um, let's see if it will make a higher low. But right now, it's already up there. You don't, uh, please do not chase that. Up there, nabangit na ba si PHA? Not yet. Merong, um, naabangan natin si PHA ngayon. Baka gumalaw because there was uh, my news about kay PHA. Can you please post a link um, about the news kay PHA? Or send it to me as a message. Pwede sa, uh, pwede sa Discord. If someone here sa Discord, uh, mag-message ako. Pwede pahingi, pahingi ng link for the PHA news. Right. Kasi, I really haven't read it. it. Just My friend just told me about a possible suspension kasi hindi sila hindi disclose. But, don't think that is gonna matter much. Maybe today, um, babagsak yan, but magre-recover din naman yan. Right. Good AM, Ashley Benedicto. Hi sa pusa mo. Yun, nasa likod. <laughs> right. Melinda C, good morning insights on web po. Si web, I recommended that yesterday. So, it already climbed um, because of the position niya. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay web kahapon. Today, I'm not gonna be recommending it because medyo mataas na. Oops, sorry. Pasensya na. Mean kay, go down please. Alright. So, yan. Ang name ng pusa ko is Bido. Kasi natagpuan namin yan sa BDO. Galing akong BDO sa bangko. Tapos sumakay sa kotse namin sa ilalim. So, I was traveling with him under the car. So, iyak ng iyak doon sa baba. And then, so when I rescued him, uh, picked him up, uh, picked her up, um, nag-attach kagad sa akin sa sobrang takot niya sa ilalim ng kotse habang tumatakbo yun, ba So, yun, napamahal na sa amin. <laughs> Melinda, si good morning. Insights po kay Webby, and we talked about that already. Ome Aurelio, good morning, Sir Lloyd. First comment to your channel, but have been watching your channel for a while. Watching from Oman. Ay, galing. Good morning sa inyo dyan, sa Oman. Um, oops, sorry. Um, give me one moment. I'll just, um, labas ko lang muna si Bidu. Bidu, outside first. Right, that's fine. And sorry about that. Um, from Oman, oi, galing. Um, ang aga-aga pa dyan. All right, so nakapunta ko ng Oman, pero airport lang. <laughs> Kasi nung pumunta kami sa uh, Dubai for the seminar, um, uh, we had to go to Qatar, di ba? But may blockade yan eh. Hindi pwede ang mga airplanes from um, Dubai makapunta sa ano, sa Qatar. So, we had to go through Oman and then to Qatar. So, hindi dyan. Puro, puro loop, uh, pu puro desierto nakikita ko eh. Pero I really haven't um, surveyed the city yet. But yeah, I was, was there. Ang aga pa dyan ngayon. So, good morning sa inyo dyan. Morning, Sir Lloyd. Pwede na ba test by kay food? Let's check it out. Alright, alright. So, Michael Masagka. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Watching from Dubai. Ang aga rin dyan sa Dubai. Good morning sa inyo dyan. Michael Monet Lagman. Good morning, Sir. Insights kay PHA, AP, um, IRC, and SMPH. Alright, the blue chips are going down. Si BDO, bumaba rin eh. Pero, somehow, BDO is giving us a buy signal. I would say, buy BDO now while mura pa siya. Um, it has been doing well. Um, Lagay ko sa comments yung ano, lagay ko sa comments yung recommendations ko for today. Nga pala guys, a little request from my end. Kindly share this video to your walls and to your um, Facebook groups um, for trading. So that the newbies there will know that there's a program like this that can help them um, in their stock market journey. Hops, good morning, JFC and IRC. Alright, I'll write these down. JFC, IRC. IRC. And good morning. Uh, for like, uh, so sorry. Polaika, good morning. Um, Benwa, good morning, sir. Lloyd, ISM po, please, watching here in Taiwan. Yan, pabati po sa wife ko. Hannah, and to my daughters, Levine, Levine and Lian. Good morning sa iyo, uh, Benwa, and to your family. Again, Hannah, and the daughters, Levine and Lian. Good morning sa inyo. ISM, right? So, I already wrote down ISM. Daanan natin yan. Benwa, God bless us all. Justin Salvador, good morning, sir Lloyd. What will happen to PHA if sila, hindi sila makasubmit ng AFR? Um, 
they will they will be fined right um mafa-fine yan sila so but that's pag up tapos niyan uh, once they were they're able to submit then that should be okay after so fines lang yan right so hindi naman siguro um hindi naman ma-close ang company niyan they might be suspended but after that they should be able to return if maka-submit sila so let's see what will happen all right um baka maka-maka-affect to sa movement ni PHA all right Oliver De Guzman good morning sir Lloyd I'll have I have to review the entire news for now um kasi uh, hindi ko pa talaga nabasa eh anong problema right um Swiss Miss good morning sir Lloyd pwede na po ba mag-test by kay food all right down food Si food nahirapan pa ako eh. It's a bearish market plus uh, it's showing us negative earnings so mas wala pong mag-i-invest dyan. God bless you for your kindness to the cat. Thank you, Jenk. Noel Minano, good ho- holder SMPH, alanganin na po ba or wait bounce MA200 and aba po. Uh, holder ng SMPH, hold that for long term. Don't worry about that company. It's just gonna recover once the bullish market comes. One of the best companies here in the Philippines. Alanganin na po ba? or wait to bounce at MA20 or and aba po. Right, let's check out SMPH. SMPH and aba. Right. So Joffrey Jr. Alob hi sir. Morning from Oman. Sana makapag seminar ka dito. Sir, hopefully so, hopefully. Right. Uh Sana nga. Right. Um Noel Minano awaiting full video discussion on mingista.org. I have um I really want to make the if napapansin niyo po, hindi ko pa po linalabas sa Financial Freedom 101 si Mangisda.org and hindi ko pinupost sa Billionaires Club talaga. <laughs> it's because wala pa ang permits. Alright, so I really want this to uh, I really want to jump start uh, to start this uh, on the right note. Pero anyways, um, yeah, we will have a discussion about that. Um, Saturday BC ako eh. So maybe I'll schedule one this uh, 18, 19 most probably this ano most probably this sunday right this sunday magawa ako ng video after the launching um sa youtube right kasi meron akong discussion about this nasa facebook page ng mangisda.org um let me just give you the link and if you want to um meron tayo dito walk through video meron po sa page niya if you can visit the facebook page i'll put the link on the comments please click it and then mapupunta po kayo dun sa video with the further discussion of mangisda.org i'll make one public once the permits are out lang, just to protect ourselves then. Um, so ngayon, um, as much as possible, I'm not advertising it to those non-followers of mine kasi um, right now, walang permits, so it's about trust lang muna, right? If you trust me, then there, there I have followers na nag invest na uh, for the reservations. Uh, so everything is reservation for now, kahit pa nilinagin yung pera nyo, um, since wala pa namang ano, since wala pa ang permit so you can all you still have the options to pull it out if you want to since reservations pa lang naman or it will become official once the papers are out already so mamaya na po yon so um we are getting reservations um if you are ano if you are uh what do you call this uh if you are uh interested uh there are 30 lots available left for wave 1 so tatlong po na lang so <laughs> Um, so if you're interested in, in helping, right? So for now, please understand, kasi wala pang papers, um, trust, trust lang muna tayo. If you are, if you're, uh, if you, if you're not comfortable with it, it's okay. Uh, hindi naman sa pilitan ito for now. So you can, uh, there are people who will opt for the permits first. Um, kasi yung contracts after na ng permit lalabas siya. Eh. So we will give you contracts, um, on the, ano, on the investments that you have once it's official already. So, I have friends already. So, kaibigan lang muna ang pinain, uh, nag-i-invest. So, for now, yes. Yan pa. Um, let's uh, go forward. Um, Asa na yun? Um, pwede po po kay Chelsea. Hi, sir. Morning. Pwede po kay Chelsea. Yes, si C. Ang ganda ng first quarter earnings ni Chelsea. Yeah. So, I guess this is gonna be bullish again for Chelsea. It's just that, ang hirap ng position ngayon. It's uh, We don't have a support. Maybe, uh, let's check out. Mahanap tayo ng breakout, pero medyo, medyo mataas pa yung breakout niya. Good morning, sir. Lord. Wala ngayon si Muning, the trading cat. <laughs> Andun kanina, uh, pinalabas ko lang muna. Abib siya, Beb, sir. BSC and APC, good to buy. Uh, let's check it out. Kung okay na ba ang position nila? Are we seeing supports already? Omi Aurelio, insert insights on GSMI. I think it's not mentioned as much. Possible breakout at 38 um, haven't been mentioning G- GSMI that much 
because nasa taas na siya. I've been recommending GSMI doon sa taa, sa baba. Oh, but people are not um checking out GSMI. I'm not getting requests about GSMI lately. So, um tingnan natin GSMI, very good company. I recommended that before. Still bullish. Haha, <laughs> yes, mostly desert sa Oman due to low population of the locals. Big land but a rich country, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully maka magbisita ulit tayo diyan. JC Simbulan Morning Sir Lloyd and Laika nag-register ako sa event niyo Saturday, pero wala pa ako nakukuha na feedback. All right. Just go there. Once you've registered, you should be able to go there. Um, kasi na busy si Itoro. The team, the the Itoro team is uh is the one sending the not- notifications. Kasi but they're on their way here to the Philippines now para sa event on Saturday. So medyo na busy sila at hindi makasagot. So just go to the event. Right. Sadly, can lose na rin your registration. So what? But if you have registered, just go there. The event is free. Uh, si Itoro na bahala sa inyo kung sumobra man. <laughs> sila naman sponsors eh. So, John Handusay, good morning, <laughs> Sir Lloyd, watching here in KSA. Good morning sa inyo, John. Um, yan, um, hoping you can come here at seminar. Yes, uh, hopefully we can. Right, Sir Lloyd, insights for this disclosure ni ISM one hour ago, nakalipas. Oy, I didn't see that. Uh, ano ang disclosure ni ISM? Um, let me open um, e- PSE Edge edge.pse.com.ph so medyo matagal pa ito mag-load so I'll check that out later on um, if you can post it on the comments ano yung disclosure niya so we can discuss it right away at Oman happy to take a seat uh, Rockin Sonchanko kano po per lot uh, per lot sa pangisda.org is 6,500 lang po right so Dandan Kiben good morning sir uh, nga pala sa pangisda.org uh, we are uh, guaranteeing 20% returns po for for this year this year lang muna, right? It's just the pilot projects. Uh, slots are limited. We are not making it unlimited. Kasi, um, ito yung napapansin ng ko sa ibang mga agribusiness. Eh. Um, farm on is okay. Ang ganda, na, ang ganda na ano ng farm on. But there are other agribusinesses out there that unlimited investors. Impossibly po kasi yan eh. Kasi ang farms kasi, there are limited Limited lang naman nababuhay dyan sa farm. So, really can't, uh, possibly naman yan na uh, hindi, uh, hindi, lim- uh, hindi limited. Eh. So, yan. Um, we're only opening two, uh, two fish cages for now and just for one year. And then, after that, um, if everything goes well, then that is when we will uh, open more. Right. So, we're starting small and we want to start it sure. Kaya hindi po namin linakihan. Maliitan lang muna. Right, hoping, uh, asan na yan? Uh, Dandan, good morning. Um, Sir TBGI, ABA, and JFC po. Thanks, right, I'll write these down. Alright guys, so if you want to check out mangingsta.org, uh, go to www.mangingsta.org. Um, pwede nyo pa ma-check yung video doon and then register and then if you wanna help the fishermen of Mindanao, uh, the, uh, our os- association there, um, you can invest in them. Hindi naman yan, uh, uh, investment naman yan um, babalik naman yan sa inyo but at the same time you're helping the fee- people there right Matt, um, Matt Chester um, good morning sir PHA po thanks right from Taiwan right, good morning sa inyo dyan um, yan nasulat din si PHA um, konti ingat kay PHA ngayon it's gonna be volatile because of the news right positive earnings po ang food ng 2018 and my press release po today positive po net revenue first quarter right that's very good for food Alright, uh, let's ch- check mo nga si food. Bakit um, negative ang lumalabas sa akin dito? Was it food? Yeah. Um, somehow, I'll, I'll check out the uh, disclosures. Kasi, minsan tinitingnan ko dito na lang shortcut eh. So, there's discrepancy. Um, negative 99% of first quarter lumalabas dito sa investorgrams. Um, 66% annual naman. So, this is what I am worried for, for the first quarter earnings. So, let me just... Um, Check out quarterly report. And so, period ended, fiscal, fiscal year edited, current year, uh, gross, gross, net, 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 net income after tax is previous three months, current year, three months, current year to date, previous year to date. Mas ma- ma- maliit eh, right? Um, so, I'm not really sure. Uh, this is previous year to date. Malaki last year. Um, current year to date is 12,000. Uh, so, 3 months. Previous year na 3 months, 1.3 million. Um, 12 lang ngayon. So, 
yes it's negative so guess this is right na tama na negative siya so dito lang pala dito ko lang pala tingnan si ISM na disclosure about 2 hours ago annual report is this a quarterly earnings uh, quarterly report negative yung quarterly report na ISM if that was what you were referring to negative 22 sila but this is ISM's earnings hindi po yan yun din na pa na earnings so I don't think that's gonna affect that much for ISM right so yeah um Udena yung ina, uh, we consider ISM Udena so we should be waiting for Udena's numbers kasi for sure uh, kasi most probably matutuloy na yung pagka Udena nila I think it is gonna be uh, it is gonna go through Tristan Manalo excuse me sir uh, patingin po kay Seb alright I'll write down Seb alright CEB um, Ian Robaca, hello sir, ngayon ko lang po nanood ulit ng balita sa anong balita sa ISM, same po rin po ba, same pa rin, good morning Jaime Villaflor, Noel Taranco, coach, pakisuyo yung tugs, laki ng lugi sa first quarter, yes it tugs, laki ng lugi yan sa first quarter kaya medyo nahihirapan siya umakyat, right, JC Simbulan, salamat sir, I'll be there, pabati po pala sir Lloyd sa girlfriend ko si Grace Seal, who is very supportive sa akin in stock market, that's good to know, right, um, on your financial journey, right? Lalaki man or babae, uh, it's very important that you get a partner who is in line with your financial plans. Ang hirap po pag may partner kayo na um, kayo doing your best to be financially free pero yung partner niyo gastos ng gastos. So, I hope you get a partner na sumusuporta sa inyo when it comes to these matters. So, JC, swerte mo kay Grasil. Right? Yoni... Pioca, good morning, sir. DNL, please. Thanks. Right, I'll write down DNL. Green, sir. But check. Right, so green and DNL. Si green and Janel. Si DNL, kung sayo natin. Nakita po yung disclosure sa PHA na trading suspension for three months. Right, um, ano, uh, let's open that. Um, kasi yun yung sabi ng kaibigan ko, hindi ko lang na-check yung ano kasi na busy. Eh. Right, um, Hindi ko nakita kasi yung disclosure nila. Can you guys please send me a message sa Discord group natin? Uh, walang link. Uh, wala akong makita ang link kung saan nakalabas si eh. Sir Alco, di nyo man sila masarecon yung post. Laki ng first quarter earnings nila, sir. Nagbigay po ng malaking dividend at insight, sir. Alco, um, pwede, uh, Eman. Uh, Eman is sending me a message sa, ano, sa Discord. Um, nakita nyo po disclosure. Hindi ko pa nakita yung disclosure ni PH. Hindi lumalabas eh. So, if you check it here, Annual stockholders meeting lang last na lumalabas na disclosure niya 9 days ago. Uh, pag naging Udena na si ISM, kailangan ba ibenta muna yung ISM? It depends for you, uh, It depends up to you, Isabella, if you wanna sell it. Um, maybe it's gonna do sell on news, but if it's gonna go down, I'm just gonna be buying more since I'm here. I'm there for long term. So, depende po yan sa purpose nyo. If you're in it for short term, then you can sell it. And then, hindi, ayun, ang problema lang dyan is hindi natin alam kung bumaba bababa ba talaga or aakyat so that's a problem there so if you're gonna sell just sell half right gray pagalan irc vll po sir salamat irc and vll all right Right, morning sir, Vita MRC, please. Alright, uh, sir, musta yung Microsoft sa Itoro? Kita ko nag tayo ng GWPH. Good morning and more power po. Si Microsoft, okay pa rin naman. I'm still um, banking on Microsoft to go down kasi andun pa yung trade wars. If ever, mali man ako, I'm just gonna be cutting losses. But so far, so good pa rin naman. I'm still doing sideways. Um, hope, um, yung position ko is hopefully it goes down since the trade wars is still up there. So, um, that's my prediction for now. Uh, we're seeing a downtrend naman. So, let's see if magtuloy-tuloy yung downtrend ni Microsoft so nagsusuport eh. Noel Minano, Sir, paano yung pater, partner gastos not yet financial freedom? Believer, cut loss na ba? <laughs> try nyo muna. Try nyo muna. Yan, no? Try nyo muna. Kausapin. Right? Oh, what's the point of getting a partner who doesn't listen to you? Diba? It's for your future. Kasi pag may nangyari sa... Uh, Really, I tell you guys, um, if you have a job, a job is not security for your finance, right? You can lose your job anytime. I have many friends na ganyan, right? Um, so dependent with their job. Um, baka bigla mag-close ang company and everything. Tapos pag hindi nyo paghandaan yung instance na yan, what if mahirapan kayo? There are very many what ifs in life. Parang stock market din yan. So whatever happens, right? you have to, ganito yan eh, you have, 
all the smart people right? before we go to our uh, our recommendations um, you've heard of this smart people are al always two steps ahead right are always thinking two steps ahead so what if this happens you already have that what if this happens you already have that if you want to be smart then think like that what if mawalan ka ng trabaho and then what if hindi ka makakuha ng trabaho for th three months right do you have money for three months that you will survive what if furthermore diba? what if mas mahaba that's why there, is, there should be always uh, emergency funds na at least six months. Na six months na what if magkasakit ka six months or you lose your job six months and then hindi ka makapagtrabaho for six months. Uh, maraming ganyan na OFW na pa-uwi dito. Tapos ang hirap, na, ang tagal pa kayang mag-ano, ang tagal pa kayang makabalik, reba? Or hindi maka makabalik. So forced to look for a job here. And if ever na sana yung kayo sa labas na malaki ang sweldo, baka may hirapan kayo maghanap na sweldo dito. Those are the what-ifs in lives. You always have plans for the what ifs that's you have to do that talk to your talk to your partner wag niyo ikat loss kagad pero pag matigas pa rin ulo i tell you guys if your partner doesn't uh, work with you well with your finances sakit sa ulo niyan uh, in the long run right hindi pang long term <laughs> short term lang isabella long term din po ako pero kasi di ba mga ma, ma, di ba magiba yung ticket a uh, ticker ah okay hindi po automatically na po if you're holding ism if if yung ticker mag mag-iiba automatically um, mag-change din po yung sa inyo. Tommy Escobedo coach, good morning. Si ISM po ba official na Udena na? Not yet official, mapapalitan ba pangalan ni ISM to Udena? Once that happens, yes, magka-disclosure kaya diyan. Yes, definitely magka-disclosure about that. Emmanuel Nadera sent the screeny through FB about PHA. Let me check my messages. Um Emmanuel Right, so PSC, screenshot. Right, so please be informed that as of date here of the companies listed below have not complied with the structured report requirements, exchange for failure to submit their annual reports for the year ended. Um, ah, yeah. Hindi, hindi naman yan, ano, uh, masasanction lang sila dyan. Um, isa sa PHA, so hopefully makapagbigay sila. Baka nahihirapan sila because of the money that came in. But, yeah, it happens. Um, usually, magkaka-fine yan. So, they'll be fine. Hindi naman masususpend yan. Magsususpend yan if hindi talaga sila magpadala. Right? So, I think they can. Right? Um, uh, the, their partners will be disappointed if, if yung ganyang simple lang na ganyan, hindi sila makapagsubmit. Right? So, hindi uh, ka lang problema yan. Madali lang yan for the company. Right? Bayad lang sila and then magsubmit sila then that should be it. Right? So, yan. Let's continue. Um, asa na ako? Nawala ako sa comments. Um, yun. So, I'll go down to my recommendations for today. Again, here are my recommendations. Eh, tingnan. Teka lang, tanggalin ko lang ito kasi disturbo yung phone ko. Tunog ng tunog. Right, so, first up, yan, andyan po sa comments. Let me share my screen. Uh, let me go full screen. Remove this. Um, una sa mga recommendations ko today is SOC. <laughs> Chill answer. <laughs> When my balls are worried. Uh, yan. Um, SOC. Um, yeah, and, and dami na kasing companies na ganyan. Hindi naman talaga, ano, hindi naman talaga malaki yan. Not unless wala sa talaga silang plano na mag -send, mag magbigay ng annual report. So, let's see in the future. If ever, ano, ka problema. So, let me load my chart layout. Lloyd Bazaar. SOC. Nawala kasi yung ano ko eh. Nag-tear cash ako. Uh, we were troubleshooting the website, yungmangisda.org. Again, guys, please visit mangisda.org. Go to www.mangisda.org. Check out the videos there uh, for the pre presentation of the business. Baka magustuhan nyo po ang gusto nyo po tumulong by investing. Right? So, here, SOC, uh, good first quarter, uh, good annual earnings naman si SOC. So, I guess this has created a support already. Um, we are seeing around here, around bottom na siya, and we are... We are we have confirmations for price action. Good thing about this is the support is right here. Ang lapit niya po sa support. So, maliit pa po ang risk ninyo. Um, I guess this is good for SOC already. It's already starting to solid uh, create a bottom. 
um, this company before the annual earnings at lang po pressure niya so now with the annual earnings I it should go up right and then we're already at that level so gawin niyo po dito is pwede na po kayo magbodega we have a major support at this area so even if it goes down you just keep buying more maganda naman yung performance niya for this year this is your this will be your major support 0.74 uh, pwede kayo mag buy more dyan if ever so dito hanggang dito lang so test buy lang muna since this the, this stock is not yet on an uptrend we are just guessing the bottom so pag ganito po na strategy yung nagbo bottom pick po kayo maliitan na pera lang you don't have to go aggressive here um, a little le lesson for the newbies if nanghuhula kayo ng bottom never go all in alright again the trend is your friend and you know the trend here you should be able to know the trend here this is not this trend is not your friend Right? So that's why konting pera la ilalagay mo. Just in case you're right and then it goes up, then you're already in. You just wait for another position to buy more. Once nag uptrend na siya, that is the time to go aggressive. So test buy lang po. Right? I have yet made, created a video about um, test buys. Right? So gagawa ako ng video about that soon. Alright. So SOC, number one of my picks for today. And this is in no particular order. Next is BDO. Recommending BDO for today. We have reached the support of BDO and it has confirmed that support. Nag bounce naman yesterday. BDO, yes, this is um this is good for BDO. Um for those especially na mga naglo long term sa stock na ito. First quarter and annual earnings are very good. It's just that bearish yung market, so this is our opportunity to start start na magbodega for those hindi pa nakapag buy kay BDO. So BDO definitely a buy. Next is Lopez. Lopez and ABS. It's time to buy for me. Uh, Lopez, very good company. Um, we are seeing a divergence kay Lopez already. So, this is starting to create a support already. We've reached the RSI na 20. So, ang ganda na niyan for Lopez. So, you can start. Uh, pwede ka na mag-start mag-bodega. Maganda naman ang earnings ni Lopez. First quarter, 105%. Annual earnings, 45%. So, those are very beautiful numbers. And overall, si Lopez nasa baba pa naglalaro. So, mura pa rin yan si Lopez. Right? Very good company. This is a good opportunity to buy Lopez. Start na kayo magbodega niyan. Especially ito si ABS-CBN. ABS-CBN, we have reached that support. Remember, dati nirecommend ko si ABS-CBN dito and umakyat naman. Um, we have a support for ABS-CBN and then look at that support. That's a divergent support. That's a bullish pattern. Meaning, this bounce right here is much better. right? Much more healthier. Time to bodega, ABS-CBN. Uh, good first quarter earnings. This should go up. Annual earnings niya, medyo negative. But definitely... Uh, this is very good for this year, especially sa election. Ang laki ng pera nila, kuha nila dyan. So, lalabas dyan in the next coming days, uh, next coming months, next coming quarters, ang laki ng pera ni ABS. This is already ripe. I'd say this is a buy already for ABS. Start nyo na po magbodega dyan habang murang-mura pa si ABS. Alright, so those are the recommendations I have for today. I'm gonna go now to your uh, to your questions. Oy, si Francis Pawix, um, yeah, ABS is in my recommendations for today. Kakadaan lang natin kay ABS. Right, nag-request kasi siya for ABS. Eh. Right, sir, web X, uh, web and X, sir. Si web kahapon ko na-recommend. Mataas na yan ngayon. Si X naman, um, medyo mataas na. Let's just wait for the pullback if you wanna trade X. Right, we just talked about X. Akala ko hindi yan gagalaw, but gumalaw kahapon, tindi. So, that's that goes to show the stock market's really unpredictable. Right, so, um, for X, right ko lang si X para tignan natin yung charts today, right? So, I go now to your recommendations, right? Um, before we go to that, guys, I want to invite you to eToro, right? Um, if you want to if you want to learn uh, earn passively in eToro or if you want to trade international markets, ang ganda po mag-trade sa international market. Um, create an eToro account, please use my link and po yung link ko on the video description. Uh, that is going to help the channel uh very big. Laki pong tulong niyan if you use that link uh, in creating an account. You can test it out. Libre lang po gumawa ng account and then once you create an account, you'll get 100,000 uh, USD na pwede mong i-practice as your virtual port. And then once you're ready in the international market, definitely you can add funds in the future. Right? So, check out eToro at eToro uh, at using my link. Right? So, Asan ako? Um, PXP. Ang ganda rin ang bounce ng PXP kahapon. This is from Bull and Bear. I'll write that down. Right. So, let's go to... Oy, isa nga pala. Sa sponsors natin, I wanna... Uh, I want to invite you to mangisda.org. Just go to www.mangisda.org. 
and check out the website right if, if you want to help uh, if you are if you're looking for an avenue to diversify um, this is a very big uh, this is a very big uh, good cause that you can check out check out the website and then join the website if you want to right so in po. Um, now let's go to the requests ism number one ism Right, so ang problema ko kay ISM, ang hirap maghanap ng position ngayon na nasa taas na si ISM. So congratulations sa mga nagbodega kay ISM doon sa baba. Right? So mataas na siya ngayon. Um, may earning siya, the report negative 92%, but this doesn't really matter that much. This is ISM's earning, this is earnings, this is not Udena. We are in ISM because of its uh, of its uh, future, which is magiging Udena na po siya. So ISM still up right there. There's no position right now for trading ism right so i really want ism to pull back and then bounce maybe get into this uptrend line before we want to get in ism so i can't recommend it yet right we are position traders i i could be wrong pwede pa yan umakyat today it's just that if you get in here what if bumagsak diba there is always what if what if bumagsak saan ang support mo dito sa ma20 so what if Bumaba ba sa MA20? Laki ng ipit mo dyan, right? So, it's not responsible to trade ISM at this position right now. Unless you're an investor na okay lang yung maipit kasi you have plans on buying more in the future. Kasi ang problema niyan, if hindi ka rin pumasok, makaumakyat, mas mahal mo siya mabibili, right? So, but definitely, there will always be a time na stock magpupull back. I'd say be patient and then just wait for the pullback instead. JFC. Yan, si JFC, uh, Emily Goltiano, kapabati naman po sa girls ko, si Erica and Angelica. Good morning sa inyo. Good morning, sir, Miss Apple, and Tulaika. Thank you so much. Um, meron dito si Annie Lynn um, requesting about uh, BSC. Tignan natin. Dexter Lopez, morning, sir. How about BLL po? BLL is in the list. Daanan natin yan. Alright, so next up is JFC. Alright, si JFC kahapon, nasa 293. Well, this is good kasi... Gusto kong mag-buy more kay JFC and they're, we're just waiting for a, a, an avenue to buy more. So, so far, so good. Um, maganda naman yung, um, ay, yung first quarter earnings niya. Baka ito yung rason bakit bumagsak. First quarter is negative 14%. Baka konti lang kumain ng chicken joy sa first quarter. <laughs> so, it's dropping. So, that's good. We'll just wait for uh, an avenue to buy more kay JFC. Somehow, nag-fail yung support. Eh. Right? Yan yung problema sa bearish market. Um, Let's wait for Jollibee para mahinog. Let's 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 see if there's an avenue to buy more. Somehow nag-fail yung support niya. Right? So, iwas muna kay JFC. 245 kasi ang bilihan kay Jollibee. Ayan. So, antayin lang natin. Antayin lang natin bumaba yan. So, not yet an avenue to buy more as of the moment. Um, but I am into Jollibee rin. Um, ang dami kong ports. May Jollibee yan lahat. <laughs> right? Kasi, that's for long term. That's a long term stock right there. So, IRC. Um... And pull back pa si IRC. So, let me just remove these. Alright, so, giving us a pullback. Hindi nakapag-breakout si IRC. So, kaya bumabalik sa support. So, we're just waiting for IRC to bounce before we wanna get in. Negative, um, medyo malaki yung negative niya first quarter. So, one of the reason why bakit bumabagsak. But with the political developments, um, si Mayor Abi na. So, baka magtuloy-tuloy na yung project ni IRC. And, Let's see what will happen in the support. As of the moment, wala pa tayong bound. So, I can't really recommend it yet. So, baka magtuloy pa yan sa support. Ang problema, baka sa support hindi mag-bound. So, konti ingat na muna. Sir, insights po kay CLI. Sell half na po ba? Lakas ng ano yun. Lakas pa ng um, momentum ni CLI. I can't recommend selling half. But congratulations to your earnings already. If you see a red today, then you can sell half. Um, congratulations sa mga may hawak ng CLI. Alright, congratulations sa inyo. Did recommend this company doon dito right i recommended it here our recommendation ko is just keep buying the dip and nag dip siya so we bought more here and we were able to recommend it again here and then ayun na lumipad na si CLI so congratulations this is a very good company ang ganda ng real estate dito sa Cebu grabe so check out CLI um ngayon i can't say sell half um mamaya na pag nag red right difference of buying SM and SMPH stocks um Si SMPH is more into real estate. Si SM Corp kasi is andun yung malls niya and ganun. So, 
those are different. Si SMPH, meron kasi silang uh, meron kasi silang real estate na uh, na business din eh. So, um andun 'yan sa correct me if, if I'm wrong. Yes, SMC is andun yung retail nila. Eh. So, those are different companies. Um, magkaparehas um, ng owner pero different yung ano ng company nila. Right? Uh, Joy P. Sir, si VLL po ba news 12% increase income first quarter? If that's if that's uh, there, then that should help. It's just that yung market talaga, we can't say for sure. So, tingnan natin if meron tayong support na pwede pasukin kay VLL. Sir Google, please. Thank you. Alright. So, si Google, please. Um, si Google, um, international market is showing us a good bounce. It's just that the trade wars uh, are still there. So, medyo volatile pa. I chose to be uh, tur tur turtle up lang muna for now. Uh, let's see if ever we can see higher highs for Google before we really wanna get in. We can see reversals before we wanna get in sa international market. Kasel John Visaya, sir, how about buy more CLI? Mamaya na, masyadong mataas pa yan para mag-buy more. Andyan pa yan sa 4.90. Uh, the buy more area is around here at MA20. So, wala, wag, pa, wag muna for now. Um, the buy more area was the breakout here. So, dapat dito ang buy more natin. Medyo mataas na yan. So, we can't say for sure about CLI for now. Negative divergence na po ba ang masasabi nyo kay CLI? Alright, if, if meron yung pula soon, yes, it will show us a negative divergence. So, that can be an issue. Nga pala, um, so, kaibigan ko dyan na nasa Dubai, si Grace Shetty, good um, good morning sa inyo and happy birthday sa lunch girls. Ayan. So, good morning sa inyo and especially to Grace, happy birthday. Ayan. Um, next kay CLI, mamaya natin pag-usapan si CLI, nauna tuloy si CLI. Si MBT, Metrobank, MBT, good company. Um, affected by the negative market so yan po bumabagsak si MBT but though even though giving us good numbers so wag po muna downtrend pa siya especially sa bearish market let's wait for it to go down and then let's wait for our buy signal before we really wanna get in MBT patience lang right you don't have to be aggressive again this is a bearish market you don't have to be aggressive in this kind of market uh, VLL eto si VLL tingnan natin right VLL does have a support right here the first quarter earnings should help right so if you if you think this is gonna go up i think it will uh yun nga lang nakatakot ang market so you can buy hirap mag trade uh this kind of market eh. so first quarter earnings maganda naman so we have a support right here you can buy there right if ever malika just cut your losses it's just that just that malimit ang cut loss pag bearish market so konting ingat lang right um try it out right that should help VLL go up, especially the election results, right? GMA seven, GMA seven. Um, we did talk about it about uh, about it about this support. That was the best entry point. Ganda rin ng numbers ni first quarter ni GMA. So I guess they should go up. Um, medyo mataas ang risk natin dito eh. but we have a resist previous resistance right here. Um, maybe you can get in a, in a breakout. I just don't want to recommend breakouts on a bearish market. So, pinakamaganda po dito is pull back and then bounce before you want to get in. Dapat doon sa support, pumasok tayo. Right? So, GMA7, this is good. Uh, especially yung earnings niya. I guess this is gonna get more earnings, better earnings on the second quarter because of the election. So, yeah, this is good. Antayin lang natin. If you wanna risk on a breakout, you can. There's a good breakout entry there pag nag break out or pay, pull back and bounce so abangan nyo na po yan sa GMA7 right? si ABS nagbigay na sa atin ng buy signal actually this is a buy signal for GMA7 it's just that mataas na yung risk niya ngayon right? PHA unlike ABS-CBN na binigyan tayo ng low risk na entry right? PHA um, we talked about this earlier um, konti ingat lang kay PHA right um nag pull back eh right. it's now at 0.94 um, with the bad news today baka bumagsak pa yan lalo but in the future I'd say just keep buying PHA uh, on the dips napaka mura pa rin ni PHA with the amount of money that it has right now so yan po um, web recommended it yesterday tumaas na so I cannot recommend it for today antayin lang natin yung pull back ni web before we wanna get in right so web iwas lang muna AP 
AP, at si AP naman, uy, nagsusupport si AP, um, negative first quarter earnings, so that should uh, not help AP. Right, I think, let's see what will happen today. If mag-bounce to si AP, maybe yes, that is confirmation of the support right there. So, let's wait lang muna for the bounce of AP before we wanna get in. Um, asan ako? PHA Web, IRC, Green, si Green, na-miss ko. Bakit ano punta na pag AP ka agad? Ayan, si Green. Ayan, si Green. Downtrend pa po. Descending triangle. This is a bearish triangle. So, we are not seeing any buy signals as of the moment. So, iwas na muna kay Green. PIP. Um, may na-miss ba ako si IRC? Tapos na tayo kay IRC, di ba? So, PIP is not loading. And so, PIP, ganda ng bounce yesterday. So, 150% first quarter earnings that helped the stock go up. Um, so, right now, this is our primary support. We don't, we're quite far from that. So, medyo risky yung position ni PIP ngayon. Kasi what if mag bumalik sa support yan, hindi natin alam. So, we don't have a position here right now. We want it to do a pullback and then bounce. Yung bounce ang abangan natin for PIP. Kasi masyado mataas na siya ngayon. Um, PHA, we talked about PHA already. Web, already done. IRC, SMPH. SMPH. And si SMPH, um, Mark Alvin and Ciso, good morning. Um, Swiss Miss, uh, how about MRSGI? Uh, MRSGI, MRSGI. Gaano pa kalalim ang ibababa ni MRC? We don't know. We, uh, we don't really know. So, SMPH, right? We have a support for SMPH right here after after doing an all-time high. Um, Nag-pullback siya when the bearish market strike. Uh, uh, when the bearish market uh, started. So, we have a support right here. Maybe it's gonna bounce anytime soon. But for now, wala pa po. So, no need to be aggressive on this stock. Uh, so far, abangan lang natin. JFC, IRC, food. Si food, we talked about food. Maganda yung, uh, yung, we talked about the earnings of food. Medyo negative naman yung earnings ni food. I, I will I will check that out even more in the coming days. Uh, but for now, uh, meron naman siya magandang bounce. It's just that we're working against a downtrend. I cannot recommend going aggressive in this stock as of the moment. So, I'd say, ingat lang muna tayo. But we are reaching the lower ISI levels. So, let's see if magawa siya ng support anytime soon. If gagawa siya ng support, then why not? Right? So, for now, iwas lang muna. You don't have to be aggressive in this stock. ABBA! Alright, si ABBA. We're seeing lower highs kay ABBA. But we, um, we're seeing this triangle already kay ABBA. So, Let's see if we can see a breakout. We're at MA20. It's playing at MA20. Actually, you can use the MA20 as your support if you want to get in ABBA. Right? So, at least malit ang risk ninyo. Um, ABBA is a good company. It has a good potential of going up. So, if you want to enter, get in your MA20 as much as you can. And it's at MA20 right now. So, I'd say yes, this is good. Test, pwede nyo po i-test si ABBA. Right? Pwede nyo po i-testing si ABBA. Pasukin nyo. Kasi malit ang risk. C, same with ISM. I cannot recommend it yet. Mag identical sila ni ISM. Eh. So, um, with the first quarter earnings, maybe most probably that's gonna help, but it's just that. For position traders, it's really hard to look for a position here right now. Diba? So, if you're position trading, wala yan. Hindi tayo papasok dyan. Wait for the pullback and then we can make a support and dun tayo sa support, uh, dun tayo sa support pumasok. But for now, wala po tayong position kay C. Medyo huli na ang lahat. Right. BSC, alright, um, BSC naman, alright, very good. Ang ganda ng spikes ng volume niya. Uh, nga pala kasi maganda ang first quarter earnings niya. So, BSC created the support here. We have a resistance. Ang problema ko yung BSC is we have a resistance right here. So, if you wanna enter it now, ang liit lang ng possible ng gains mo. So, it's not worth the risk. Let's wait for it to do a pullback before you wanna get in. Or the best next best entry point is a breakout. At least may support ka. Pero it's a it's an ice cream. <laughs> it's a bearish market, so I don't really uh, want you to go aggressive on uh, on this stock, especially in breakout. So if ever you can wait for it to go support, if ever begin ka ng support entry, that is the best entry point for BSC, right? Um, Aket kaya PSI ngayon dahil sa nangyari kagabi sa world market. Um, the world market bounced right after uh, how many days na pula. So, but it's still bearish, right? Um, uh, from Flogo V2, 
Um, hopefully, magbounce ang PSE, right? It was it did a very sharp uh, negative uh, past few days. So hopefully, there are there will be times na magbounce siya. So hopefully, magbounce today. Um, next is SMBH ABA C BSC APC and APC APC. Right, so ATN, my request for ATN from Bobby Oracion. Right, so I'll write that down. Time check, it's 9.07. APC, um, first quarter earnings, um, okay naman, though it's negative, but uh, overall the percentage is much better compared to last year. So APC, hindi ko talaga alam ang fundamentals ng company na ito. I haven't researched about this company. That's why I haven't been recommending this company. But... First quarter earnings and annual earnings are positive naman. So, doing well. Nag-break siya ng MA20. Um, wait lang. If ever you want to trade this, uh, wait for a base. Uh, maybe a pullback and bounce before you want to get in APC. Right? APC for trading lang yan. So, uh, pullback and bounce will be the best entry point for APC. GSMI. GSMI. Ito. Si GSMI doing very well the past few uh, the past few weeks, right? I've been recommending GSMI here. Hindi ko na to na recommend dito. Hindi ko na napansin si GSMI. But, who ganda ng akyat ni GSMI. Just wait for the pullback before you wanna get in GSMI. Masyado mataas na po yan si GSMI for now. Right? So, congratulations sa mga may meron GSMI. Okay? Good morning, Sir Lloyd. check si ABBA, Web. Uh, we already talked about ABBA, Web. Um, MWC. Ayan, hindi pa natin na-check si MWC. Um, PXP please Alright, so PXP and dyan naman sa lista Sir, insights po kay Santa Lucia Land SLI uh, I'll write down SLI also Alright, next kay GSMI is TBGI TBGI TBGI, Trans-Pacific Broadband Group Incorporated um, Hirap eh, downtrend pa tayo eh So, but um, I can't say for sure yet. Right? Um, I'd stay away from the BGI. I had no reason to really get in this stock right now. So, um, especially in a bearish market. So, abang lang tayo. Um, I'd say mahirap, mahirap hulihin ang bottom nito. So, I can't really say. Let's wait for it to stabilize before we really want to get in the BGI. Um, ABBA, we talked about that already. JFC, CEB, TUGS. Ito si TUGS. Right? TUGS, TUGS tuloy ang na ano ko. Right, so first quarter earnings negative three hundred percent. Right, so I'll check this out. Why it's so negative? Negative tags. But what I know is, there are some projects, and they even opened a solar solar uh, pro, uh, solar power plant um, lately. So maybe because of that, they have a lot of gastos. Nila. So let's see. I'll I'll study tags even further. Um, stay away from tags for now um, because of the price action. Yeah, but. Fundamentally, Tugs is a good company. So, let's uh, abangan lang natin muna yan. For now, stay away lang muna. I'll, I'll read more about Tugs. Ano nangyari sa earnings nila sa first quarter. Kasi baka may malaki expenses nila eh. Alright, so Tugs, um, DNL. Alright, DNL. Alright, so DNL, wala pa. Cut loss pa tayo kay DNL. Alright, so kasi nagbabreak pa ng support. So, Let's wait for DNL to really, ano, to really create a, a solid bounce and support before we wanna get in DNL. Iwas lang muna kay DNL, download, uh, download, downtrend pa ang market, downtrend pa si DNL. Uh, IRC, we talked about IRC already, um, which we just wait for the bounce. VLL, we talked about that already. Tech, we talked about VLL na ba? Yes, we did. Um, tech, ayun, may question about si Tech. Um... Ang ganda sana ng earnings ni Tech eh. Pero sentiments ng market, pabagsak ng pabagsak eh. So sadly, um, wala pa for now. But we do have a support right here. Let's wait for further price action for Tech before we really can get in. Uh, Sir Lloyd, magbuntag in says po kay Aji and Fen. I'll write that down. Aji and Fen. Si Fen masyado mataas na. Um, tech, BPI, and DMC po please. Alright, from this is I.2. Um, write this down. Mark Lester. Sir, Good morning. And Laika, watching you now, sir, with daughter Shilonel. Uh, right, Shiloniel. All right, Shiloniel. Shilon. Ah, uh, nakabulol ang name. <laughs> Shiloniel, but very, very unique. And Ashley, Evon. X, sir, palihog. Si X, move on na tayo. <laughs> si X, medyo mataas na si X. All right, si Nao rin naman. Oh, yung ganda ng bounce ni Nao kahapon. So, let's check out now today. All right, so, so tech. 
sadly um hindi pa hindi uh, hindi pinapansin ng market yung magandang movements uh, may magandang mga rec- uh, earnings ni tech so iwas na muna tayo next is BPI let's check out BPI mas na natin si BPI ayan nasa support na naman si BPI let's wait for BPI to bounce naglabas pa na ng first quarter earnings so very good first quarter um good lang not very good so BPI right hopefully This will sustain yung market hinihila siya pababa but BPI bodega na yan masyado mura, mura na po yan si uh, si ano si BPI. Good morning Sir Lloyd what's the meaning of halt and suspension sa disclosure? Um if ever may halt and dis- and suspension meaning hindi sila ma-trade for for the set dates, right? Meron naman yang dates na kailan magsisimula and kailan ma-end. So hindi po sila ma-trade for those dates na naka-halt or suspended sila. Unless they comply with the reasons, bakit sila na suspended, right? So now DD po, right? So DD, alright, down DD. Right, next IBPI is DMC. Time check is 9:13 DMC, right? So DMC downtrend pa, so iwas lamu na first quarter earnings negative 33 percent, so that should be heavy also for DMC. So okay, bumabagsak si DMC. Let's wait for it to stabilize before we wanna get in DMC. Medyo sharp yung downtrend DMC. So, iwas lang muna kay DMC. Um, next kay DMC is... Asan ako? X. Ayan. So, si X, ang lakas ng akit kahapon. First quarter earnings, um, 1% lang. So, not really that well. This is an engulfing pattern. So, if you wanna trade this, I'd say no for now. Right? Kasi wala tayong position dyan. Wait for a pullback. Let's see what will happen if it goes makes a higher low. That is your entry point, or if it makes uh it makes a support right here, and that's your entry point. If ever it gives us that position for X, right? So ingat ingat lamu na kay X. Masadong matas na yun. Wag niyo habulin yun. Wag kayo maiinggit. Okay, PXP. Ang ganda ng galaw ni PXP after the support. We talked about this. If you wanna trade PXP, this is the best entry point. And umakit na siya. So, we'll we'll wait for the pullback and then bounce before we wanna get in PXP if you wanna enter PXP. Maganda yung first quarter earnings ni PXP. 183%. I checked that out earlier. So, wait lang tayo ng pullback and, and before our entry point. Um, BSC. Did we talk about BSC already? Yes, we did. Um, MRSGI. And so MRSGI, um, somehow, um, nags- uh, stabilize na yung downtrend niya, but this is still very volatile, so we can't say for sure yet. Though, maganda naman yung earnings niya, so this should recover uh, right away. Right, we have a support right here, so dun siya nagbabounce. Let's see, l- let's wait for further price action before we, ac- we can get in. MRSGI, masyadong volatile pa siya for now. Um, ATN. Si ATN naman, nasa 1.25 na ngayon. So, nag-break siya ng support. Um, so, sa mga long-term holders, this should be a good sign for you guys to buy more in the future. Right? For now, traders, huwag muna pumasok kay ATN. Right? Iwas na muna kay ATN. Hindi nag-sustain. Um, good morning, sir. Ano yung recommendation nyo ngayon? My recommendations for today are these four. SOC, BDO, Lopez, and ABS. Right? Right. Popey, sir, from Jaime Villaflor. I'll write this down. Poppy. Say nan si Nanet Mill or Pusser. Hi Nanet. And so um ATN MWC. Meron question about MWC. So MWC first quarter earnings negative twenty six percent. So this should not help. Um baka mag downtrend pa ito sa MWC. So ingat lang muna tayo kay DM, DM, MWC. Wala pa tayong clear na price action for at 3 points. And plus the negative earnings. So it's making it heavy. So iwas lang muna. Um, next kay MWC is SLI. Right. Santa Lucia Land is on an uptrend. This is our entry points right here, MA20. So, antay nyo po MA20 before you wanna test it out. Kung naingit kayo sa pag-akit ni SLI, at least man be responsible on your entries. Get in at the low risk position at the MA20. Sa MA20 nyo po abangan yun si SLI. Right? Um, SLI, AGI. Right? AGI naman. So, downtown pa po sa si AGI. So, stay away lang muna tayo. We're still seeing a downtown for the stock. So, hopefully... We have an because we have an engulfing pattern here. Maybe, uh, maybe it will uh, create a support soon. So for now, wala pa, wala pa siya. So stay away lang muna tayo. Next is Fen. Right, so Fen. We don't know if it's gonna go down already or not yet. But what I know is, wala tayong position jan. So wag po kayo may ingit jan. 
always wait for it to grow, make a pullback before you wanna get in this stock. Wala pa tayong pullback for so stay away. BPI, we talked about BPI already. Um, DMC and uh, DMC time check 9:17. So we still have time. DMC we talked about DMC already pala. Um, DMC now. Ito si now. Maganda yung bounce ni now kahapon. Wait lang tayo ng pullback and bounce kay now. Right? Pullback and bounce before we wanna get in again kay now. Right? So, um, I did recommend now two days ago. Diba? Nag-recommend ako dito kay now. Kaso nga lang pumula the other, the other day. Then yesterday, nag-bounce naman. So, meaning nag-sustain yung, uh, nag yung recommendation natin kay now. But um, right now, mataas na po ang risk. So, stay away lang muna for now. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay now. Yesterday, wait, um, let's wait for it to do a pullback and bounce before we wanna get in sa so, mga hindi pa nakapasok kay now. DD. So, DD showing us a bearish signal. We have a support right here. So, let's see for now. Um, if you wanna test it out, mas maganda dito sa support. It's still kind of volatile. Um, I cannot recommend DD as of the moment. Ang hirap pa sabihin. Popey. Okay, Popi. Ayan, si Popi. Ayan. Um, good company. Uh, definitely a good company. So, range trade lang tayo. This is the support area and then this is our sell area if you wanna trade it. So, Popi, dito tayo bumili. Nasa sell area pa siya ngayon. So, I don't wanna recommend it yet at the sell area. Dito tayo sa buy area, pumasok. Okay? Pwede nyo po i-range trade yan pag, kasi nagsusupport. Um... Poopy and or from the net request from the net is here. Si or <clears throat> annual earnings ni or negative ninety three percent. It's still triggering the lower Bollinger Band, so I guess or might go down. Um, so wala pa eh. um hindi pa gumagalaw si or talaga. So uh, I cannot recommend or as of the moment. Um, pero maganda yung company. It's been recovering. Um, maganda na yung ano siya. Um. Dati is ano, mining lang ito eh. Tapos nag, ngayon naging holdings na siya. So that is, that should make or uh, uh, more versatile company. But for now, price action is downtrend. So ingat lang muna kay or. I'd stay, I say stay out. Ayan, I that too. Mer pala sir. Mer, uy si Meg. Ang ganda ng earnings ni Meg. So kamusta natin si Meg. Mer, downtrend pa. So stay away lang muna tayo kay Mer. Right? Um, earnings niya not that, not that um, big. So that shouldn't be much of a help for the downtrend of Mer. So, iwas lang muna tayo kay Mer. Um, next is Meg. Ito si Meg Regal Mantak. Um, Meg, um, nag-release ng earnings yan. Maganda yung earnings niya. First quarter earnings, 18%. So, that should be good. Uh, but for now, um, hirap sabihin eh. Mukhang downtrend pa to guys eh. So, I can't recommend Meg as of the moment. Let's let's wait for further price action. Baka magumawa to ng support at mag-bounce today. Maybe it's gonna create create a support in time soon, but for now, too volatile to really pick up. So, konti ingat lang muna. Alright, so that's it for today. And so we still have time. It's nine twenty. Um, guys, again, um, check out mangisda.org. It's a it's a very good cause, uh, para po sa, and it's an investment cause, right? We're help helping the fishermen of Mindanao. This is the farm there. Uh, these are the farms there, right? So. A little brief story about this sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam. Um, last 2012, this area right here, Lopez uh, is uh, was, uh, what do you call this, was tagged by the government as a mariculture park. Isa yun po sa project na government na dinedevelop nila na lugar para sa mga investors. So, this is already here. Um, the, the government donated 200 uh, fish cages here and it was doing well at the beginning. Tapos after that, since it's not sustainable for the fishermen, 68 na lang po ang perform uh, ang nag uh, ano doon, nag nag uh, what do you call this nag for function. The problem is if you start a project, it costs around 600,000 to 700,000 pesos and the, f the fishermen there do not have that much money. So hindi po sila makapag sustain ng projects. Right? So their option is to loan and pag nag-loan sila, wala naman silang properties na really to, na pwedeng i-collateral. So, hindi po sila nakakapag-loan. Their option was really to go to financiers. And yung mga financiers na yan are loan sharks. Para po mga magsasaka natin na sila po may-ari ng, ng fish cage. Pero at the end, pagkatapos ng harvest, 
halos pinasweldoan lang sila. So, <clears throat> nahirapan po ang mga fishermen to sustain it. Kaya po, others give up. Ang nakakapag, um, ang nakakapag uh, what do you call this, produce lang po doon ngayon are the people who have the funds. Right? Mga OFWs. Meron po dito mga OFW group. Gumawa po sila ng sarili lang group. And nag-pull po sila ng funds. And they're, they're, they have fish cases there. Right? So, yung mga may pera lang ang merong uh, nakakapag-produce doon. And it's, it's the, the business is good. Right? Kumikita siya. It's just that it's not sustainable for them because of the funds needed. So, we created mangista.org as the crowdfunding, as a crowdfunding website para po, um, dito na po, this will be the helping hand of the investors para po sa mga mangista. At least, meron na po silang malapitan na, 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 ano, na, na, na group to fund them and then hindi po sila gigipitin unlike the mga financiers. Right, so check this out. Very nice. Check out the video then join the website. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So, yan po. Um, MPI, sir. Lloyd, holding pa ba ang support? So far, so good. So, okay pa naman si MPI. Right. Um, let's check the website. I mean, website. Let's check the chart for sure. Right, but I was checking it yesterday. Nag-hold pa naman yung support. So, still good to go. But MPI is for long term. Magbodega lang kayo dyan, guys. Uh, MPI has been doing well. Grabe yung pera dyan MPI. First quarter earnings, 2%. So, not really that much. So, that should not help. That cannot help. That should not help the growth. But then again, this is a good company. So, pwede nyo pong, pwede nyo pong uh, pasukin yan. Sir, approve na po yung mga isla. Uh, na po ako sa mga isla.org. Matic na po ba naka-invest na ako? Or may contract pa po ako i-sign. Hindi po kasi nakabasa ng lahat ng FAQ. Contracts will be out once the permits are out para legal po yung contract, right? So, please give um ang projected date natin for the projects to start is June 18. Um that's next next month after the launching. So, one one month po tayong magkukuha ng investors. So, June 18 po magsisimula. So, we still have time um pro uh, sec promised us dito, doon sa ano um, doon sa Mindanao kasi si, sa Dole yung office nila lahat andun ang lahat sa sec sa DOTC so they promised us na by next week lalabas na yung permits so hopefully lalabas na and then once that's out the contracts will be out right so for now reservations na ang nangyayari so there's no, no official investments yet but you will get contracts for that right so that's it for today um, I'll see you again tomorrow. It's gonna be Friday. Market, international market has been doing well last night. So, nag-bounce sila. So, hopefully, mag-bounce din ang PSEI. But, then again, it's still bearish. The, uh, what do you call this? The, the trade war scare is still there. So, baka bumagsak pa yan. Lalo, baka dead cut bounce lang. Meaning, bounce lang just to continue the downtrend. So, PSE, no need to be that aggressive. Always pick stocks that are all that at the at our that are at the bottom and then test buys lang and then make sure your risks are low if you really want to trade on this kind of market right that's it for today sir pwede pa ba mag-add sa ism good to buy more mamaya na pag nag pull back and bounce huwag po kayo maingit sa climb niya mamaya lang pag bumagsak and then mag bounce that's when you buy more that's it for today i'll see you again tomorrow as always let's get rich together enjoy your day bye bye